Welcome to IPEX. This video introduces the IPEX approved Athena HS D1 headset, an electronic hook switch adapter, and will guide you through the setup of your headset and EHS adapter using your IPEX 1050i handset. Before we proceed, please ensure you do not switch on your headset until instructed to. Within your EHS adapter box, you will find the adapter, audio cable, and telephone connection cable. As you unpack your headset, you will find included in the box your base unit, headset, power adapter, telephone connection cord and USB cable. Before we attach the EHS adapter, ensure your handset volume is set to maximum. The HSD1 headset is compatible with both the version 2 and version 3 EHS adapters. You can check your adapter version by viewing the label on the underside of your adapter. The PhoneWise EHS is not supported with the HSD1 headset. If a version 2 EHS is being used, it will need to be removed from the stand supplied and reattached to the stand of your 1000i series handset. Ensure the type switch is set to SIP. For the 1000i handsets, the stand must be in an upright position to allow for a successful connection. We will now show you how to connect the headset base station to the EHS adapter. First connect the supply cable to the aux port on the station base. There is an arrow on one end of the cable. Ensure the arrow end is connected to the auxiliary port labelled aux. Next, connect a cable from the telephone port on the base station to the headset port on the phone. You can now switch your headset on by connecting your power adapter to the base station and then plugging into mains power socket. Once plugged in, blue lights will appear on the earpiece of the headset. If you're using a LIP 9000 handset model, the LED will turn to a solid green. Before we are ready to make a call, you must wait for the LED on the side of your 1000i handset to turn to a solid blue. Please allow a couple of minutes for this to happen. You should now make a test call using your headset. Press the hook on off button on your headset and select compatibility switch position 1 or 2 on your base station until you can hear the dial tone. Dial your number to make the call. Your test call should last for at least 3 minutes to give the headset a chance to complete final tuning and ensure optimal operation. You are now all set to use your HSD1 headset. When using your headset, please ensure the phone volume is always set to maximum. Any volume alterations should be made using the earpiece volume on the headset and volume controls on the base of the HSD1. To reset the headset and start over, simply unplug the headset from the mains, disconnect from the phone and follow the above steps from the start. This is particularly useful for troubleshooting if you believe you may be experiencing an issue. We always encourage customers to try and ensure that their telephony system and phones are up to date with the latest software and firmware to help ensure the correct operation of all devices including the HSD1 headset. 